Deep in the headwaters of the Wainuchi River, on the traditional homelands of the Coast Salish and Chehalis peoples, on commercial timberlands of the Washington coast, habitat restoration efforts are underway to increase groundwater storage and improve aquatic habitat. This project is the first of its kind in the Wainuchi River watershed. Placing wood in small tributaries will improve water quality, water quantity, and aquatic habitat. This stream may look healthy with free flowing water and native plants, but on close inspection, the stream bed is missing smaller gravel and sediment deposits. Water and sediment rush downstream because the stream lacks stable woody material, which helps store them in place. The goal of the restoration is to increase groundwater storage by installing hand-built wood structures that allow for sediment to be trapped and water to be stored in the ground. Hand-built structures, local labor, and wood donated on-site by the landowner Green Diamond Resource Company were used to keep the costs of this restoration low compared to larger, more complex projects. This pilot project, managed by the Grays Harbor Conservation District, restored a quarter of a mile of high-priority tributary waters for roughly $50,000, less than one-tenth the cost of a similar-length project in large rivers. High-priority streams throughout the Wainuchi watershed were identified with an analytical model developed by Natural Systems Design that shows where to store the most water and improve aquatic habitat. Groundwater stored in these headwater streams can increase stream flows during the summer, reduce downstream flooding during the winter, and improve in-stream habitat for fish and other critters. According to this model, there is potential for 500 acre feet of additional natural water storage in the high priority headwater streams of the Wainuchi River. This is equivalent to 162,900,000 gallons of water or 247 Olympic sized swimming pools. Winters bring a lot of rain to the Pacific Northwest and just after this project was completed, flood events in November 2021 and January 2022 moved large amounts of sediment into the project area. The newly installed wood caused new channels and pools to form and sediment to build up beyond the wood structures. Considering the positive outcomes that this project has generated after only six months, Grays Harbor Conservation District plans to restore many more miles of the Wainuchi River watershed in the future.